Hey guys, it's Jordan, so I hope you're all doing really, really well and are having a fab week so far. I have a little bit of a different video for you guys today, which I'm really, really excited about. I've wanted to film one of these videos on my channel now for so long, but I wanted everything to be really good quality and I finally found something which is definitely worth sharing with you guys, so... We're doing it. Today's video is my version of the perfect eye makeup look to wear with glasses. It is one look that will suit a bunch of glasses, so it's super versatile. Also, I've teamed up with glassesusa.com to bring you guys this video. I'm not a prescription glasses wearer myself. I just wear them I mean, I just like the look of them, basically. Glasses USA were perfect to team up for this video because not only do they do prescription glasses, but they do just regular glasses, which is exactly what I chose. I am not joking guys, there are so many frames to choose from. I have six to share with you in this video, but there are so many. You could just keep scrolling and scrolling. Like let me tell you, you are gonna find something that you'll love. I promise. You're probably thinking, okay, just another website that sells glasses, cool. But I'm gonna scoop my boot over here because I'm gonna show you guys a couple of features on the website, which is so cool. As you guys can see on the website, you can actually upload or just take a picture of your face instantly. And they will virtually put the glasses on your face. So before you spend that dollar, you can actually see if they would suit you. Like, how fab is that? Because, oh, girl, I've had my fair share of glasses that, mm mm. Mm -mm. They call it a virtual mirror. I think it's such a good idea. Like I said, so many frames to choose from and I think even some of them are like up to 70% off their retail price, so... Bargain! Obviously they have a bunch of like your regular glasses as well, but they also have a bunch of branded glasses as well. They have like Tom Ford, uh, Michael Kors, Chloe, there is like loads. And guys, can you see that? Can you see that? They have international shipping, so all of you can get your hands on these glasses. Yay! I just wanted to share a little bit of info about them with you guys because to me they aren't just like any other glasses website. The quality of them and all the other like extra features and stuff that they have kind of to me beat any other glasses website like see ya. Oh just really quickly wanted to add if you're not a glasses wearer you can still totally watch this video. I'm not saying like only if you wear glasses you can only watch this video. It's just a bronzy goldy makeup look which I pair with a ton of lip colours as well so it can still totally be for you. I'm just naming it for glasses because the shape of the eye makeup and stuff is perfect for them. So I'm going to quit with the intro and actually get into the video. So if you want to see what I think makes a really fab makeup look for glasses then just keep watching. So as you guys can see I already have my base makeup on. My skin definitely doesn't look like this normally. <laughs> I did just use my Holy Grail makeup products. If you do want to know what they are, check out a video I did a couple videos ago. It's all there, but I just want this video to be really eye focused because obviously it's about the glasses and me showing you what makeup look will go with it. So I'm going to do one makeup look that is like super versatile. Let's get to business. There are two things I actually think of when I think of a makeup look that will suit all glasses shapes and sizes and colours. That is stick into neutral colours, so browns, golds, that kind of thing. And then of course to have the makeup visible through glasses. So what I think the key to that is, is keeping the makeup kind of low here, but we're going to wing it out. Winging it out because obviously all glasses come out this way, so you'll see it. And then keeping it kind of low here because whether you have glasses this big or this big, you're still going to see the makeup. Right, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, taking a good old fluffy little brush. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a color like this. It's sort of a medium brown shade. And I'm gonna use that as my transition. I'm just gonna go back and forth in the crease, like this. And then of course, hit the outer corner and sort of like bring the eyeshadow up here to sort of create that wing. You don't have to worry about it too much because we will clean the edge up with concealer later, but it's just to get that initial like shape. Building up a teeny bit more. Obviously this doesn't have to be anything too crazy because it's just the transition, but adding a little more won't hurt. Of course, do the same thing to the other eyeball. Oh, as well, um, I also did prime my eyes. I just used some concealer and then set that in place with some translucent powder. I didn't show you it, but definitely did it. See how I've kind of like kept the colour here? I haven't blended it too far up to my brows. Just trying to keep that colour a little bit lower so it fits in all frames, shapes and sizes. Now taking more of this like flat, smaller brush which fits like perfectly in my outer corner. I'm going in with more of a darker, rich, chocolatey brown colour. Focusing this just on the outer corner like this. Then I'm going to start to just pull back the colour here ever so slightly. Then I'm taking that same brush we used for the transition colour. Just blend them two colours together. I'm going to carry on building up that colour until it's as intense as I 
like. It's all about that blend, girls and boys. All about that blend. Also as well, I wanna do that wing shape because we all know the struggles with wing liner. Even still to this day, like wing dye liners, sometimes I like F up on and I'm like, I do it and then I legit ruin my eyeshadow and I'm like, dang it. You just end up with instant regrets, you know? Whereas using your eyeshadow, it's easier, but you get like the same sort of effect, you feel me? I'm into it, I'm into it. I need to drop my brush. Okay, so I think we're good. Now you wanna go ahead and take any kind of like bronzy, coppery kind of eyeshadow. Just start packing it onto the lid. Of course, stopping like by that outer corner color we put. This color is keeping in with the whole sort of color scheme that I'm going for, but it adds just a little something something to the lid. Dust away any fallout that we gassed going on. I'm gonna clean up this outer corner now because it's looking a little bit messy. A itty bitty brush like this works perfectly. Anything with sort of a flat, small little edge to kind of snatch the edge. I'm going in with a little bit of concealer to do this. If I hadn't done my base makeup already, I just would have used a wipe, but concealer it is. From here, we're just gonna go like that. Like, look how much better that looks compared to that side. Like, this is like, and this is like, mm. for real though, this is such a good tip. If you ever feel like your eyeshadow is looking like, Mm, it's seen better days. Grab a little bit of concealer and just do a little bit of cleaning up. I got you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and then some false lashes. I personally think adding false lashes when you wear glasses like brings more attention to your eyes, you know? I just feel like sometimes eye makeup can kind of get lost behind your glasses, if that makes sense. So if you add some lashes, like a bit of boldness, it's like, hmm, I'm still here. I'm gonna go for these ones here because they're not like super long, but they still have quite a bit of volume to them, so they kind of stand out. Right, I'm gonna go apply these lashes, and then I'll be back. I'm back, and my lashes are on. Hopefully you guys can kind of see what I mean when I say it draws a little bit more attention to your eyes, because it just makes them a little bit more bold. I think if you put less color on your eyes, like less eyeshadow, you could totally get away with just, you know, coating on that mascara and just be done. Lashes to me, whether they're false ones or mascara, just like, Bring the look together. And then the eyeshadow just kind of helps add that like depth and color and shape, so the two together, just works. I'm gonna finish off underneath my eyes now just to sort of balance everything out. So I'm just gonna go back in with like them browns. Just lightly add some color under here. Last thing to do, so we wanna keep the underneath of the eye quite bright and open. So keep the heavy kind of colors on top. Just because obviously glasses, the frames will kind of like shadow around your eye. So by adding the brightness under here, it will just still keep your eyes like popping, popping. Taking any light shimmery gold color and I'm just gonna pop that right in the corner and as you can see like woo. and then just taking a nude cold pencil and popping that in at the waterline just to open up the eyes even more a touch of mascara on the lower lashes to finish so this is the eye makeup complete but now it is time for the fun part i'm basically going to be showing you guys six different frames that are different shapes styles colors and i'm going to be pairing it with a lip color so you're going to get one entire look i'm about to show you how versatile this eye look can be so let's do this these glasses are called the meridian glasses i'm obsessed with these they are a really nice kai shape which i love i thought these frames would look so bomb with a classic red lip because they have a nice thin black frame the black and the red sort of really complement each other so these are the glasses i'm trying to show you guys without my soft boxes like glaring these are hands down one of my faves like how classy do these look especially with that red lip to me these glasses are giving more of that like officey vibe but you do you boo, you wear them whenever. Perfect shape for this look as well because they go out so you can see the wing of the eyeshadow. I love them. Obsessed. <laughs> these next glasses are called the Adrian Pear. How flipping cool are these with that like bold white frame? Decided to go for a metallic gold lip. I think the gold obviously complements not only the eye look, but it really makes the white on the glasses like pop. Okay, these are so cool and so different definitely another fave. Keeping the eyes and lips really bronzy and neutral makes the white stand out and it's not too much at all. More of a square lens so you're pushed in a little bit more this way but as soon as I turn to the side you can still see that wing shape. Everything fits in. These are fab. Gonna be whipping these ones out. You know it. This next pair is called Irene and how amazing is the color of the frame? They say it's red on the website but it's more of that like burgundy. I chose to pair it with a brown lip. Now because we went neutral on the eyes you can pair any lip with these glasses and I decided to stick to the color theme. So you know burgundy glasses, burgundy lip. I am just loving the way my glasses match my lipstick. 
such an easy way to just pull together a look. I am loving the shape of these frames. These are more rectangle than the other and a little bit bigger. I love how they're more of like a maroon on the front and they're more red on the side. I love that contrast. This eyeshadow look paired with this whole like darker theme makes everything look really smoky and kind of sultry. I'm feeling it. I'm kind of living, breathing and dying for these. Yes. I love a fat pair. These next glasses are actually a pair of branded ones. They are Chloe glasses. Now I love the color of these. I think they're so unique. They're a clear, gray. I decided to go for a peachy orange lip with this. I even think they would look really good with a nude lip, but kept it kind of peachy. These are how these ones look. The shape of these are a little bit more square, but they kind of come out in the outer corner here, so you can still see that, like, eye makeup. What's this? The color of these frames are really unique. It's like a clear gray. I think the peach and the gray actually go really cute together. What do you guys think? It's kind of hard to see the eye makeup because of the glare, but... As I said, these ones are branded, so they are labeled. Chloe is just written on the side right here. Oh, I left my drink in the background. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely, probably gonna butcher the name of them. I'm pretty sure it's Anaheim or Anaheim. Again, I wanted to coordinate my lipstick with the glasses, so I went with a gray blue lip color. Because they're a color, they're blue. Again, I think it just works pairing, like matching the colors. These glasses are actually a different shape. They are definitely more rectangle completely. I also love the fact that the arms are silver. It just works with this whole like cool tone thing we got going on. I know this is a really bold color, but trust me, any of you can rock this. But is it just me? Or does it look a lot more tame now that I have the glasses to match? I actually feel like the glasses are helping like wearing a bold lip. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I dig these. These are so cool. So cool. These glasses here, they're then really cool sort of aviator style. I went for a nice simple nude lip with these glasses. Nice big lens with a really, really thin gold frame. So everything's really simple here. So I wanted to keep the lip nice and simple. Oh, these ones are so cute. These remind me of that popular geek chic style that's been going around, but these are really good quality because they are proper glasses. I love the fact that they're gold. I feel like these ones, even though you can get them as prescription, but I feel like these are sort of them fashion glasses because they just look really cool but yeah these ones are the style flint so that is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i had so much fun like doing makeup but in like a different way like doing it with glasses this has been the perfect time for me because i've been obsessed with wearing glasses at the moment so if you were interested in any of the frames or just want to give glassesusa.com a little look then i will leave everything in the description box below so check that out and if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that thumbs up button because it lets me know that you guys like these kind of videos and i can keep making them for you and if you do maybe just maybe want to see a little bit more of me don't forget to hit subscribe before you go thank you so so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video i love you guys and i will see you all in my next one Mwah. bye